26 years old, and I finally felt the weight of you. And while you were always small, I knew my strength alone wouldn't be enough to carry you. So I stood three by two, and I led with my left. Right behind my uncle I left behind all the crosswords said And right after I laid you down to rest I left breath On your brand new Pinewood chest Hardest day Of your life they say like it'll go away. Like tomorrow isn't just another hurdle for you to climb. Like time hasn't unfurled itself right in front of your eyes and left a war zone in your way. Walls and barbed wire chains made out of birthday parties and Christmas holidays. No choice but to wade through the mud of past joys that you will forget to not remember. See, I don't write anymore. Instead, I stab and tear at the pages I chose to scribble my life upon. And when ink dries, the only words that reach bloodshot eyes are the lyrics to your song. And the intro starts in my chest with the drum beats, notes claw up my throat and crash into clenched teeth that ends in a scream. See, poets paint with colors of emotion. But how can I create art when you have left me only one and it is storm cloud gray? Until just like ships that sail stormy seas, I see nothing but uncertainty in front of me. Mothers paint with colors of flesh and bone. They use blood like thread to stitch love into children's souls. They are sculptors. And they carve with care and precision. The only problem with making art is you can die before you finish. I am unfinished. Not half the man that I could be if you were still here to oversee how I rise to the challenges life throws at me. I am unfinished. Like every poem I write, wholeheartedly started only to be quickly discarded when I realize I have nothing left to say. I am unfinished. We are both too far away to keep carving. This is the first of the poems you will never hear. And I fear, like me, it will remain 